Now that you've created your account, it's time to launch your Zappo sponsored products campaign. In this video, I will walk through the step by step instructions to help make sure that your campaign is set up for success. You'll need to start by filling out the program intake form with your account information. After you submit the form, you will be contacted by the Microsoft team within three business days, confirming that your account has been enabled. After the team confirms that your account has been enabled into the program, you will see shopping for brands as a section under the tools dropdown in the Microsoft platform. Click on the Shopping for Brands page and select Add Brand. Then enter your brand name and website URL. It is incredibly important that your brand is submitted exactly how it appears on the Zappos website. This is how the system is able to understand which Zappos products should be associated to your account. Next, you will go to the Retail Partners tab and add retail partners by entering the store IDs for Zappos and 6 p.m. While the system requires you to enter both store IDs, your products will only be live on Zappos.com. And don't be alarmed if you don't see products matching immediately. It can take up to 24 hours for products to appear. After 24 hours, head back to the summary tab on the Shopping for Brands page. Download the detailed report to see what products matched. This report will also show you how each product is categorized in the product feed. All right, it's time to create your campaign. Start by navigating to the left pane and click on the campaigns tab in the Microsoft UI. Then click create campaign and select Boost Retail Product Sales as the goal for this campaign. Choose your campaign name and daily budget. Choosing a daily budget is important and can impact performance. We recommend using your total monthly budget to calculate what your average daily budget should be. For example, if your total monthly budget is $3,000, you divide that number by the number of days in the month, let's say 30, to get an average daily budget of $100. You are able to edit the budget at any time, but ultimately this should be an amount that you are comfortable spending on any given day. Some days you might not reach your maximum daily budget, but it will provide a ceiling as to how much your campaign can spend in one day. After you decide on a budget, click on the Advanced Campaign Settings dropdown, select Add Distribution dropdown, and make sure to select Sponsored Products Ads Retailer Network Only. Checking this box is the only way to ensure that your ads are only running on Zappos.com and not any of the other network offerings within the Microsoft platform. The rest of the campaign settings can be left as default for now. Double check to make sure your screen matches the settings on this slide. After campaign setup is complete, an ad group will auto populate. Hover to the right of the ad group and select the pencil to edit your desired name. If you only plan on running for a specific time frame, update the start and end dates accordingly. Now when you click into your ad group, you should see all products and bid. This means you're done and your ads will start serving on Zappos.com within a few hours. Please check out our reporting guide to learn more on automated reporting so you can monitor performance. 